All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechak, Wadash, the honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations of much love to you. I came out there pushing out this word of truth and sincerity. And uh, I just want to do a quick video um, <clears throat> concerning the words that we speak, okay? Because, you know, a lot of people, they get disgruntled. You know, they'll, they'll start acting out. You know, the demons will come out of them when they hear the words that we speak out there on the highways and byways or whenever we may do, some, uh, you know, some some videos, put up the videos throughout the week. And what you fail to realize is it's like the words that we're speaking are the words of the Heavenly Father, okay, and the Son. All right, so we're just going to prove that through these scriptures. All right, because when we speak, we, we're not speaking according to our own opinion. Or how we feel, you know, on certain days. We're just giving you strictly what the scriptures tells you. And we break it down through, this, through the Holy Spirit. How we All right, so let's start in the infamous Hebrews 4 and uh, 12. For the word of, of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. All right, so the words of the Heavenly Father, they're, they're quick, they're powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword, all right? So this is that's why the scriptures say, let me get that. Uh, all right, Second right. Corinthians ten and four. For the weapons of our warf warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds. All right. So the word, the our weapons, our our weapon of choice is the Scriptures. All right, the 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 Heavenly Father's Word. That's why it's sharper than any two-edged sword. All right. Any, any, like they say, that they have that saying in the world, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That's not what the scriptures say. All right. For Hebrews 4 and 12, for the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. See, so sticks and stones, all right, or, or a physical sword. You can't pierce to your soul and your spirit, all right? It's not a discerner of your thoughts and intents of your heart. But what these scriptures are, because as soon as these scriptures come out, the true intentions of your heart comes out, all right? That's why people bug the hell out when they hear the words of the Heavenly Father, even though they claim to love God and, and go to church and, and uh, you know, read the Bible, which that's, you know, they don't really read it. And if they do read it, they're not reading with, under, they're not getting understanding. That's why scriptures say, with all I get and get understanding. All right, so when we speak these words, all right, it's, it's going into your soul. It's, it's, it's attacking your soul is what it's doing, all right? It's because we're in a spiritual warfare. And, our, and again, our weapon of choice is, is these scriptures, man. We don't have to punch you in the mouth, kick you in the head. We ain't got to do none of that. All we got to do is, is get these scriptures out on you, all right? And, and, and it's, a, and it's a, an assault, man, a spiritual assault on you, man. And really, it's the Heavenly Father speaking through us, though, all right? So let's go to, um, what was this, Hosea, Hosea chapter 12 and verse 10. I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. See, so the, 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 the Lord, the Heavenly Father has always spoken through his prophets. He's given them visions. He's give, used the similitudes by the ministry of the prophets, man. He's, the, that's the Lord's, the Lord's, uh, uses his prophets as his spokesmen, all right, his heralds, all right, his servants. And we can prove that because, you know, because people say, oh, I'm a servant of God. No, you're not. Well, where, where are you prophesying at, man? Because to be a servant, you have to be a prophet. All right, Amos 3 and 7, surely the Lord will do nothing. So uh, surely the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim al will do nothing. But he revealeth his secret unto, unto, his seek, unto his servants, the prophets, man. Amos 3 and 7. So the Lord don't do nothing. He what? He he reveals the secrets unto his his servants, the prophets, and that's thus that's why he speaks through them, because they are given the the secrets and the words to speak. Again, Hosea twelve and ten. I have also spoken by the prophets, not by the, uh, all right, port pastor pork chop, all right, or preacher uh uh, bojangles, okay, or or a uh, uh, um deacon. Uh, uh, ASAP, <laughs> and I, but uh, you know, not not Joel Osteen, 
the prophets, man, the ones that everybody have always hated. Because what? They speak the truth according to the Holy Scriptures. They speak the words of the Heavenly Father. And you know what? When the prophets come around and the Lord uses them to speak, remember that. All right? They will always come with bad news most of the time. All right? Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets, which are the servants of the Lord, which the Lord speaks through. Okay? We just read in Hosea. The prophets ha that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So that's what the prophets come on the scene to talk about. All right? And it's through the, the Heavenly Father that they speak in those words. Again, Hosea 12 and 10, I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. So the, pro the, the, the Lord has always used his, his servants, the prophets, to speak unto the nations, okay? First and foremost, the nation of Israel. All right, and let's prove this, okay? Because that, that it's our words, or, or the words that we speak are, are the Lord's words, okay? All right, all right, Jeremiah 1, and I'm going to go straight to the point, Jeremiah 1 and 9. Then Yahweh, then the Lord Yahweh put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And Yahweh said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. So look, the Lord put his words in Jeremiah's mouth just as he does with all the prophets, as we read in Hosea 12 and 10. All right, this is not rocket science. The words that we speak, the prophecies that we speak of come directly from the Heavenly Father. All right, this is um, Jeremiah 5 and 14. This is why, remember, the words of the, of the Heavenly Father are sharper than any two-edged sword, quick and powerful. All right. So the words that the prophets are going to be speaking are going to be hurtful most of the time because they're going to be talking about destruction, death, evil, wars, and the, the falling of kingdoms. Jeremiah 5 and 14, Wherefore thus saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. So when we speak these words of the Heavenly Father, which has put his words in our mouth, guess what? You people get devoured spiritually. All right, it tears you up. The demons go crazy in you because what? We're piercing down to the soul and spirit. All right, uh, dividing asunder uh, uh, um, the intents of the heart. All right, discerning the the, the intents of your heart. All right, discerning your thoughts, and you start. You, that's why people start bugging out. Okay, but ultimately, it's, it's the Lord saying it to you, not us. We're just vessels. Okay. Um, Jeremiah. And ultimately, remember the Lord got the the one you ignorantly called Jesus Christ, Yahweh. He got the this, he was he came in the same lot because he was a prophet as well. He was a servant of the Lord. All right, and let's prove it. This is uh seven, John seventeen and six. I I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world, which is the prophets, the elect of the nation of Israel. They Thine they were, and thou gavest me them, them me, so thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. So if, all, all the things Yahweh Shai taught his disciples and the apostles and so on, all right, and so forth, were of the heavenly Father, which Yahweh Shai had given unto him. Or so like, with, with the words that Yahweh Shai spoke were given unto him from the heavenly Father, okay? And he gave them unto us. Verse 8, for I have... For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have not, and, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are, are thine. Alright, so the Lord gave us the words that he got from the Heavenly Father, which was what? These mysteries, the prophecies, okay? This, the truth, alright? That's why these men were able to um, write these scriptures down, man. They were inspired by the Heavenly Father. All scripture is given by inspiration. All scripture is given by inspiration of the, of the Heavenly Father, man. All right. So let me just get a couple more examples of how what the Lord throughout the scriptures the Lord saying that because we went into the old, new, and now we're going to go into which technically is still the old, but we're going to go into the apocrypha. Second Ezra fifteen and one. So just quick, uh, quick precepts, real quick. Proving that the words that we speak 
the words that the prophets of the Lord speak are the words of the Heavenly Father. Second Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So again, the Lord, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, puts the words in our mouth that we speak. All right? And that's why they were written in these in these script and we have the, the scriptures today. All right, we have the Holy Bible today because it was given unto these men and now it's given unto us in these last days to bring it out, bring out the prophecies and bring out and, and break them down correctly and directly. Because what? Those those words that were given unto the prophets put in their mouth, right? And they caused them to be written on paper. They're faithful and true because of prophecy. And we can see it. And it was given unto us to see. Only unto, unto the elect, though, like we read in John 17. That because Yahweh Shai gave it unto us. All right, so one more scripture here. Baruch chapter 2, verse 20. For thou hast sent out thy wrath and indignation upon us, as thou hast spoken by thy servants the prophets, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Bow down your shoulders to serve the king of Babylon, so shall ye, so shall ye remain in the land that I gave unto your father. Sorry, so that's going back into the time of Jeremiah. But what the point is that the words of the Lord were put in the mouths of the prophets. He's spoken by the servants, the prophets, about the wrath and the indignation that it came upon us throughout the generations. And then ultimately this last indignation that the Lord's going to bring, which is going to be nuclear missiles, right? Pestilence, uh, the, the, the chariots of the Lord, the death and destruction upon the, the, the whole world, all right, on a global scale. All right, the time of Jacob's trouble, all this is the indignation and wrath coming from the Lord that he's speaking through his prophets. All right, and with that, Lord's will, this is edifying my walk, love, ball, shalom.